Hey guys, welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is going to be a pick a card for what are the next 48 hours for you guys. Random messages, take what resonates. This is a general message for the next 48. First pile is going to be this beautiful red garnet. You can see it a little bit better in the sun. This is garnet, pile one. Pile two is going to be smoky quartz. Pile two, smoky quartz. And then pile three is going to be, I think it's obsidian. Obsidian, pile three. Okay, so pile one, garnet. Pile two, smoky quartz. And pile three, obsidian. Okay, so choose the one you want. We're going to get started with Garnet, this red one. I want to keep putting it in the sun because it looks so pretty. <laughs> you can just really see all the red in it. But anyways, this is Garnet, pile one, if you chose this pile. This is your reading. I'm using the in-between tarot. So let's see, next 48 for pile one for the collective. Messages for next 48 for pile one. Spirit, positive energies only for the collective, pile one. Next 48 for pile one. Let's see. Okay, you have the lovers. Okay. People are really interested in you, Pile One. Next 48 hours, you may have a love interest come towards you. What what zodiac sign is this? I always get mixed up. Is it cancer? I think it might be cancer. Let me know in the comments below, guys. Is this sign? Is that cancer? The lovers is usually Gemini, but I'm getting like a cancer element. So this is like someone has a water placement or they're very emotional for you or there's just something about them wanting to come towards you. I'm hearing that song from, <laughs> wow, this is like a really ghetto. So well, I guess, I don't know, I consider it ghetto, like no offense to the singer, but um, you know that old, uh, old group or band? No, it's a group from like way back when, um, I think it was like the 90s or something um nasty boy click or nb writers that song that's like something about you baby drives me crazy something about this pretty girl blows my mind and then he starts singing in spanish like basically saying like si tu supieras something something i forget anyways point of this someone likes you they're watching you they're very attracted to you they want to come get at you because they feel get at you who says that they want, okay, so, and now I'm hearing, I want to get with you if you got the time. Okay, so this person either likes music or your guides speak to you through music, but, like, your spiritual team just wants you to know someone really likes you. They're very attractive. I'm hearing, okay, so this person is saying you're very attractive. They think you are their divine counterpart. Um, you guys are just, like, I don't know. There's something about you guys because that song saying something about you blows my mind. So this person cannot stop thinking about you next 48 hours someone is going to come towards you they really like you they want to be with you because there's a lot of like sexual energy that i'm picking up with pile one and garnet is associated with your root chakra so i feel like someone is just very much like attracted to you like if you guys are very sensitive to energy you guys could even be like all of a sudden you just get like the sexual energy the sexual feeling and you're like oh my god like what is this it's because someone is thinking about you in a sexual way like and you're picking up on it and it's not that you guys are like super horny or anything like that but it's like i mean maybe some of you could be but for the overall collective it's like someone is just really super interested in you um with the lovers yeah so 18 plus you guys if you're not 18 don't listen but i feel like um this is definitely gonna like be for somebody who has been watching you they're really into you they like you and they feel a strong spiritual or just energetic connection to you it's your vibe it's your energy your aura it's like they there's something about your energy that is very sexual and very appealing for some of you guys you can have even the same sex interested in you i do feel that you have multiple people because there's a man there's a woman and there's a younger energy in the background and i feel like some people are, could be younger than you and others could be older it's like you're attracting all ages all types of people guy girl doesn't matter they're really attracted to you but what i am getting specifically is you may have someone who is also you have some people who are single who are interested in you which is you know perfectly okay but then there are some people who are interested in you and they're already in a relationship because i feel like this man is like a masculine woman is what i'm getting and this masculine energy is upset because it's their partner that is interested in you 444 angel number as i say that for confirmation so thank you spirit and then with the queen of pentacles this could be a taurus Virgo, capricorn or this could be somebody that is in like 
going through a spiritual journey and they're reaching out to you because she's holding a baby. So it's like you could have a business that you're starting out or this person is going through a spiritual transformation. So they're like baby witches or they're baby like spiritual people. Like they're still learning. They're brand new to the occult through spiritual transformation, their spiritual path. They're working on themselves and they see that you know some type of like information that is valuable to them. So that's part of the reason why they look up to you. But I feel like someone really admires you. They're just like, like, God damn, Pow One. You're just, oh man, they're so amazing. They're so great. Like, Pow One. Oh my God. Mm. Like, that's what I'm. <laughs> oh, wow. Pow One. Someone, like, I don't know what you guys did to Pow One. I mean, I mean, Pow One. What are you guys doing to these people? Because, like, look at it. They're, like, wanting. They're your friend. And, they're, like, you're always there for them or you're very helpful. And they see that you're a good person. Mind, body, and spirit. This person is daydreaming about you. I'm getting this couple is like they sleep by themselves and they pretend that they're hugging you and they hug their pillow. Like, I don't know why I'm getting that. But with the devil, it's like this person is like really, really constantly thinking about you. But you guys have a past life is what I'm getting. You have a contract with this person, whether it's like a good contract or a bad contract. Either way, I feel like this person is very sexually attracted to you. Yeah, with a death card. And you're going to help someone go through a spiritual transformation. Your angels and guides are just making you aware the next 48 someone is going to come towards you and that is going to be a spiritual partner someone that you are meant to be with your decision if you decide to be with them or not but do not go with someone who is going to put you in a third party situation that is a warning here for some of you bottom of the deck what do we have here the ten of swords yeah it's like you are only going to speak to someone if you know that they have ended it with somebody else that they are single if they're still in a connection then the answer is no however you are going through a transformation or this person you're going to help them go through a transformation with the swords it could be gemini libra aquarius the death card here that we have is definitely a card of spiritual transformation the devil is capricorn i feel like this person is so sexually attracted to you the chemistry between you guys is really intense so pa one yeah and with the queen of wands because you're freaking magical pa one you're beautiful you're sexy you're hot you got it going on I'm getting Aphrodite Lilith vibes, like, because Aphrodite is, like, the light pink, and then Lilith is, like, the darker sexual energy. It's, like, you guys are just beautiful. You have a beautiful energy. Your aura is popping, pile one. I don't know. I don't talk that way. And with the four ones, yeah, it's, like, this person could be in a relationship, but, like, it's, like, looking at you. So, that's for one person out there, and then for others of you, this is a single person um, that can't stop thinking about you. It's, like, they, they go through these emotions where they, they're, like, you're on their mind, I'm getting a song, every little thing I do, you're on my mind. So basically, this person is like, oh my god, what do I say to Pa One? I really like them. I gotta talk to them before somebody else steals them. They're not gonna be, Pa One, you're not gonna be stolen away from anybody if you're single, Pa One, because I do see this King of Wands will come to you to match the Queen of Wands, which is you, Pa One, guy or girl. You guys are a match, and I do see the next 48. You have somebody coming at you because they like you. So that's overall message. Somebody likes you. If they're single and you're single, go for it. And if they're in a third party situation, probably not a good idea, but again, free will, your choice. All right. So I heard dealer's choice. So it's up to you. The ball is in your court. Maybe this person plays basketball. I don't know why I said that. Anyways. Um, all right, you guys really fun, like super like, whoa, this energy is very sexual. All right. No more. I'm going to get out of this. <laughs> wow. But anyways, garnet is your crystal. You guys, if you got this bracelet, wear it, or you have the crystal, wear it. Cause it's going to help you make the right decision with the next 48 okay so let's get into the next pile so let me put this bracelet to the side the next pile is smoky quartz so pile two if you chose a smoky quartz bracelet this is your reading pile two next 48 so let's get started general messages for the collective next 48 what do you need to know i heard little high little low little hey little ho so someone could be literally a ho is what i'm getting Pile 2, 18 and over. If you're not 18, do not watch this. Click off right now. All right. You could be protecting yourself from someone who is a hoe, or I'm getting someone is just like a hateful person. I'm hurting you. I'm okay. I heard someone say, I'm hurting you, and then someone say, I you reap what you sow. So, Smoky Cords is going to protect you from negative energies. There's two white cars next to me that I just saw. So, someone is pretending to be you, and they're going to make a fool of themselves. That's what I'm getting. With the Four of Cups, you are healing. Your spiritual team is asking you to cleanse. You see that jar right here? 
So it's like cleanse yourself from any type of negative energy. You and your family are safe and protected. You do, you're not supposed to feel sad with whatever is going on. With the sun card, you are protecting yourself from negative energies or negative attachments. I'm also getting um, negative unwanted emotions that people could be projecting onto you. So you need smoky quartz pile too. Within the next 48, you're going to be protected. Some truth is going to be revealed. The sun card is Leo. I'm also getting some of you guys are from Atlantis because this looks like it's the underworld. It could be the underworld, but I'm getting like the ocean. So you guys could be Atlanteans from um, Atlantis is what I'm getting. And then I'm also getting fallen angels here with the sun because all of the angels that are here. And if you look at this card, there is seven angels, but then there's one right here. You see that? So there could be like, you could literally have seven archangels or the number seven is significant because we know that whole spiritual universal 2023 number seven. You could be a life path seven. You could be born in July. Take what resonates. You could be seeing sevens. I feel like you guys are just very magical. Smoky Quartz is saying... You're a highly spiritual being and you need to protect your energy and your space. I'm also getting if you are reaching out to any type of angels, whether that's a fallen angel or archangel, any type of angelic energy, they are going to be protecting you from something negative and low vibrational. With the eight of wands, there is some type of spiritual protection. I heard someone is spitting on your name. So someone could be talking bad about you or saying that you're fake, that you're a phony. Like there's just really jealous and envious. They're talking shit is what I'm getting. With the Six of Cups, this is someone from your past that maybe you used to be friends with or a childhood friend. Someone is like upset that they see you happy you're doing better than them. With the Eight of Cups, you've walked away from this person or you just don't talk to them anymore. And they see you happy and this person is like on the side watching you be happy 11-11. This could be a twin flame dynamic. It doesn't have to be. I don't really get that. I feel like it's more like a, a spiritual connection that you have with someone that you had a falling out with. Maybe they used to be your soul family. I don't feel like it's romantic. I feel like it's more like a friendship and you're basically um, working on yourself. Smoky Quartz, within the next 48 hours, you may have an old friend reach out to you is what I'm getting. I'm also getting you're going to realize things are changing in your favor. You're going through a spiritual level up. You will be able to connect with um, someone on your spiritual team that's going to give you some type of wisdom or guidance pile too. The bottom of the deck, what do we have here? The Hierophant. So yes, you guys are making a connection with some type of spiritual energy. I heard dum 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 dum. So <laughs> I don't know what that means for you guys. Uh, maybe you guys like music. I'm hearing Star Wars, like the lightsabers, like like all of this. Like maybe you guys are Luciferian or you're being initiated into the left hand path, or maybe you're finally deciding to choose that you want to be spiritual and you're being initiated into spirituality by connecting with a particular deity. But I don't know what this is piled to. It's more like who specifically. I'm also heard. I'm also hearing. I'm um, waiting for the sun or the rising sun. Um, so I feel like there's something about the sun here. I do feel like you guys are being initiated. It's a new day, a new world, a new dawn. Some of you guys are being initiated into some type of a cult or a spiritual practice. Like you are being accepted into something. One, two, three, four. I don't feel it's negative. I feel like it's positive. Something to be excited about. Yeah, like with the Ten of Cups. You guys could just be accepting the fact that you're spiritual and you're like, all right, let's do this. Where do I start? What do I do? Spirit, guide me. What, what do I need to do? Your ancestors are with you. Your spiritual team is here. I'm also seeing that your ancestors are happy that you are actually deciding to fulfill your life purpose by being spiritual. Some of you guys might be unwilling to help other people out or you are meant to. You're a healer of some sort. You could be like shamans or I'm seeing a snake rattle. So you guys could be a Native American or you have some type of like ancestry, family lineage that you are now a part of and it's going to make you very happy. It's like you're getting the message and you are protected. My evil eye bracelet is really standing out to me. So you guys need to wear evil eye on top of smoky quartz because I feel like you got some haters that are going to be upset that you're deciding to move forward. It could be an old friend that wanted to do what you're doing and they weren't successful or they don't have the same gift as you. Take what resonates, but it's like you're gifted, you're intuitive, you're spiritual. And I feel like these are just like really good things that are coming for you. Yeah, look at even here with the king of wands. I didn't realize there's like a line of people going to the fire and then here it's like, oh, you graduated. They're going through a spiritual level up pile too. Yeah, the magician. I just heard a car alarm, so you guys are clear audience. But yeah, you guys are gifted. You're going through a spiritual level up. Within the next 48 hours, you may be able to connect more with your spiritual team. You may realize you have a new gift, or you may be able to understand your gift a little bit better. But it's whatever this is, like you're deciding to do the left-hand path, you're finally going to do that ceremony. You're finally going to start doing tarot. You're going to read Oracle. You're going to get into Reiki. Like whatever it is, there's a specific step that you're going to be doing within the next 48 hours, whether that's within a community or within yourself, by yourself. But either way, the next 48 hours, something is going to happen and it's going to be amazing. I'm seeing like a butterfly come out of a cocoon. So it's like something is blossoming, it's growing, and it's something that you should be very proud of. But with that, new levels, new devils is what I'm hearing. So wear smoky cords to protect yourself because there are haters that don't want you to be successful and they're upset that you're actually fulfilling your life purpose, pile two. 
So that's what I have for you for Smoky Quartz. If you have that crystal or that bracelet, definitely wear it on top of the evil eye because I feel like you're going to need it. I also heard public speaker for somebody. 1441. All right. So that was a message for you, pile two. Let me know if that resonates. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for supporting my channel for the donations and the comments and the emails. I really do appreciate you guys. Just thank you very much. Okay. So we're going to get into pile number three. I heard it and it all falls down. Pile three, obsidian. If you chose obsidian, put that here. This is going to be your reading, pile three. Obsidian, pile three, obsidian. I heard Gideon. I don't know who, what that story is. Gideon, G-I-D-E-O-N. Let me know you guys in the comments. Gideon, is there some type of spiritual story with Gideon? I'm also hearing like David and Goliath. So you guys are going to be tested and maybe you guys never used to fight. You're not stuck is what I'm hearing. You're going to finally stand up. You're going to speak up. Yeah, look at the six of wands. As I cut the deck, you're going to be defending yourself from something and you're going to be moving forward and you will be successful. I heard Super 7. I heard Amethyst. I heard Labradorite. I heard the Dark Goddess is rising. I heard the Phoenix rising. Wow, you guys channel because I'm getting channeled messages before I, I get the cards. Oh, I heard those that slander will be slayed. Okay, so you guys are going through a spiritual battle within the next 48. However, nothing to fear. You have the High Priestess and then you also have the Four of Swords. So you are at peace. You are going through some changes here. Yin and Yang, Light and Dark, Virgo Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the Swords. Okay. You don't have to be these placements, but that's just energy, the signs that might resonate for somebody. You guys are spiritual. You're going to be at peace. However, um, it's interesting because with the four of swords, it looks like someone's ready to attack. But <laughs> I'm hearing, girl, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Or guy, you ain't got nothing to worry about. With this card here, it's like your ancestors are with you. Your archangels are with you. You have protection. Some of you guys have an Arisha. I'm picking up Arisha energy from this woman. Very beautiful. Likes to laugh, sing, and dance. Music, you guys. Listen to music. Raise those vibrations. You also have some type of spiritual energy that is not human. Because I'm not really picking this up as a child in a family. I'm picking this more of a more... Okay, I heard a... What was that? Oh, my God. Um, more Aruba. That's what I'm hearing. Aruba. I'm hearing more of a... Um, energy like a deity a spirit like it's your these are your protection spirits leave offerings because there's fruit in the back and then with the five of cups whoever is trying to cause drama as you guys have a jealous family member or someone who was like family that wants to be like you i'm kind of getting like cinderella i just saw a pegasus so that's significant um the cinderella story you know how like um Everybody wanted the shoe to fit them, the slipper, and their feet were too big or their foot was too small. It didn't fit. So it's like everyone wants to be you, Pile 3. It's like they want your gifts. They want your blessings. And they're upset. But what the funny part is that they are gifted too because they have feathers in their head, you know? So it's like they are gifted too, but they were so focused on taking your energy. And it's not working because she said, your enemies are going to be disappointed within the next 48 hours. That's what I'm seeing for you, Pile 3. Yeah, because look at the hand of God, the most higher spiritual team, the seal of Solomon, whatever you guys work with, they are protecting you and your knowledge and your intuition. Your solar plexus is being returned. Your strength is being returned to you because someone was trying to dim your light. The king of wands, the moon and the six of wands, literally what I just said. You are finding your motivation. For some of you who connect with Santa Muerte, I do see her here as La Niña Blanca helping you. To move forward, to find your peace, to connect with your intuition. The messages in your dreams or in your dream state when you're asleep. Yeah, it is helping you to overcome some type of spiritual battle. You're also protecting your family, your friends, your lover, your partner, whatever. Whatever you love, whoever. You're protecting another person or set or group of people, pile three. And oh my god, you guys, I said Pegasus. Look, I didn't even realize there's a horse in the back. What the hell? That's a strong confirmation from spirit. Like, whoa. Like, <laughs> wow thank you spirit that's that's big yeah for sure yeah they're not gonna throw you off yeah okay so i got the wheel of fortune okay my cards are upside down <laughs> sorry i was gonna say the wheel of fortune in reverse but let's clarify the wheel of fortune because i was gonna say someone was trying to stop your blessings let's see what's the wheel of fortune collected for spirit oh 
Ooh, wait, what? You guys are going to tell spirit what you want and they're going to grant your wish. Look at that. The world. Oh my God, you guys. Yes. Okay. The next 48 hours. I'm sorry. I'm getting so excited for you. You have a circle. Of, okay. You guys are doing a ceremony next 48 hours. For those of you that this resonates, you're doing a ceremony. You're going to like literally like conjure up, call forth some type of spiritual energy. This could be a glacier spirit. This could be your, your deity. I heard goddess. This could be a past loved one. You're connecting. This could be an angel, a guide, whatever. You guys know what you're doing. Okay. Pile three. If you're not doing this and this is not your message, but if you are, pay attention, listen up because you're calling someone on a spiritual level and it's gonna work they're here and i think this person what is this a shovel yeah dude okay so this could be a past loved one 2020 you will be able to see them you will be you will be able to hear the message that they have for you within the next 48 hours so guys i'm here do not delay hurry up we're on our way so it's like hurry 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 i'm hearing bibbity bobbity boo so it's like um what is that cinderella when they're in a hurry so you guys may have a certain window and opportunity to connect with a spiritual energy that is part of your spiritual team and they have a message and the message is they're going to bury your enemies, not literally, I hope, um, but I feel like your enemies will not be able to harm you. As you think, okay, you're going to feel like you're by yourself. You may not be able to see them because you channel differently, right? You're looking at the fire, but they're literally right next to you giving you the messages and as soon as you tell them who needs to be dug up okay so yeah you have an ancestor coming through but it's like they are going to oh my god be careful of the words you speak 21 21 as i say that why do these cards keep coming upside down no reversals what is a message? Pile three. Remove the blockage. So obsidian to protect your space because they are going to try to um, mess up the message is what I'm getting. For next 48 hours. Yep. And I heard yes. So the chariot. You have a strong spiritual army. Some of you guys may be connecting with the Goetia spirit, a deity, anyone in your spiritual team that you're trying to connect with. Shield yourself. Literally, it could be a circle of salt. You could be doing it outside. You could be doing it in your home. Wherever you do it. If you can't put a circle of salt, visualize this shield of a circle of light of protection and only connect to that particular energy. The lesser banishing pentagram for some of you, you do have a spiritual energy coming forward towards you. But the obsidian is to protect your space. The four of pentacles is to make sure that you're clearing out your energy and being focused so that you can receive the message and that you also have the proper offerings. The next 48, the eight of swords, you are going to be safe. You have some type of great spirit with that eagle or hawk on the top left corner of this card. That is going to be binding your energies of your negative. Okay, negative energies will be bound away from you is what I'm hearing. Someone who hurt you is going to have regrets. Someone is going to be wanting to run and hide from you because your spiritual team is going to attack this person. This person is going to drown in their sorrows. The next 48, you have happiness. You are cleansed, you are healed, you are protected, you are connected. Next 48 is a spiritual blessing of protection. With the devil, I feel like you do have some type of um, spiritual energy here from like a Galatia spirit that you will be able to connect with. With the three of swords as my obsidian fell on the ground. <laughs> Your crystal might break is what I'm getting. Because someone is trying to cause heartbreak. And it's not going to work. I'm hearing the Galatia spirits protect you. Justice will be served on whoever is trying to harm you. Next 48, you could be dealing with a spiritual battle, but you have protection and you will be receiving communication. For those of you who do that ceremony, you will get the message that you seek. The five of cups, someone's going to be left out in the cold. Why? Five of cups again. Okay, why? Clarify the five of cups for the collective. Because you have the money, honey. Okay. <laughs> oh my god that was a creepy laugh <laughs> wow spirit thank you so much for the message for pile three the nine of pentacles look how they're interlocking their arms like they are protecting you victory success abundance the time is now in the next 48 hours we have the three of wands which is three days from today but i feel like yeah for sure there's a blessing coming you guys the devil again and then the page of swords 
Like they cannot hurt you. They cannot harm you. You are aware you're 10 steps ahead. Your spiritual team has your back. Final message for the collective. This is beautiful. I love it. Next 48 mess. <laughs> Next 48 messages. No. Next 48 hours for the collective, please. Spirit, positive energies only. What is the next? What is the message? Thank you. The two of swords. You will be connecting with a protection guardian, this soldier, this Roman soldier. There could be some type of um, energy that is Roman or has that type of uh, image where they look like a soldier. This is going to protect you and all you have to do is connect. I heard, darling, you are my shining star. Don't you go away. So that could be like shining star, uh, Syrians, the star seeds. It could also be um, the morning star, Lucifer. For those of you who connect with that energy, some of you guys could have come from pile two and were wanting to choose pile two and three. But take the message that resonates because I feel like you, either way, you have a protection spirit, a protection guardian, someone on your spiritual team that is going to be like this soldier energy and is going to fight and protect you from any type of negativity or anything bad that anyone is trying to send to you, okay? Anything bad that anyone's trying to, anything bad that anyone's trying to do to you. What else, spirit? I heard fluorite, clear quartz, that could help you as well. But you do need obsidian overall as protection. And the ace of coins, I'm getting it's in the bag, honey. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Your money, your blessings, your abundance are, your, are yours. <laughs> oh my God, this is beautiful. You guys are finally realizing that the time is now. Your spiritual compass, it's so clear to you what you need to do. And it's a beautiful message. You guys have direction. You are being empowered. You're going to get guidance. This is super exciting. Like, I feel like someone just, like, popped the bottle of champagne and there's confetti and it's like, yay. Like, you know, it's something to be excited about. You're protected. The time is now. You have a money blessing. You are protected. And your destiny, like, no one can mess with it. All right. So that's what I have for you, Collective, for your next 48. Let me know if that resonates. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And I send you many blessings. Bye, guys.